Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. We are here today to share the word. We have just sang our songs and we sang standing on the promises of Jesus. Amen. Oh, yes. Uh, today is Independence Day. Amen. The 4th of July. Amen. All right, and we come to share the word today. And it will be coming from. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Amen. Right, and we are here to get a better understanding. Now, our lesson today, uh, the title would be Independence. Independence. Amen. And the scripture reads as follows. He said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Let us pray to Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless your word, Lord God. Touch the hearts of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can go ahead and be seated. Oh, we today is looking at Independence Day. Uh, and we come today uh, basically together as a people of man, huh? not a people of God. Now we know that uh, America was built on the foundation of God. And if we established different colonies on this day, and we actually became a state. Uh, Independence Day was a day that we was set apart. Amen. A day that we were set free Amen. from all of the countries. And we became a country for ourselves. Uh, we got, uh, came a country to be able to worship God in the way that we decide to Amen. worship God. Uh, there was a time when Congress uh, used to go uh, and make laws and rules uh, and they was deacons, they 